Did they provide you the UI, the layout? No, 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 no. In terms of the user interface, though, there wasn't really anything, and um, I just went with whatever was quickest and easy. <laughs> right. Yeah. One one quick comment uh, on the lack of design uh, specs. If they don't give you, you know, let's just go with a human guideline interface. Just follow them. You know like what Apple suggests, right? And that's the safest choice that you can do there. Yeah, that's usually part of the challenge to see if you actually understand the the Absolutely. whole platform, right? Because yes. there are expected things like sizes of buttons, sizes of cells, spacing, all those things. They they have like at least in iOS, like the positioning of buttons should be in the left, in the right, if it's a cancel or not. All those things are very specific to iOS, which is different from Android and web. And it's one of the things they want to see. Like yeah. they don't provide you with the interface. Let's see what it comes up with. Let's see if it's used to, you know, building iOS apps. It's one exactly. of the ways you can figure out. <laughs> don't forget also that when, you know, an interviewer runs the app, the first thing they see is like the UI, right? It's not the code most probably, you know, and see if, if, it, if it works, right? So yes. it, it is important to, you know, follow something good, you know? Yeah. But the first question they will try to answer is not even look at the code, but like, does the app work as intended? Does it do what is intended? And if it does, then they will check the code. If it doesn't, why would they waste time looking yeah. at the code if it doesn't even work, right? Yeah.